testing shot of my um, favourites, monthly favourites. What month is it? May. It's May, right? Hello, thank you for stopping by. I would love it if you'd subscribe. I do favourite videos apparently now once a month. Apparently that's what I'm doing this year. Actually managing to get through. What month are we on? January, February, March, April, May. This will be the fifth favourite video I've done. Um, I also just do vlogs of days out we have, days in the house, decorating videos, things like that. So please, 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 if you enjoy this video, press the little subscribe button and stick around. Anyway, let's get stuck straight into the favourites of this month. Favourite number one. It's this running belt. Basically, yeah, I've taken up running now. A bit weird but yeah that's what I'll do now go for runs normal people can run apparently and so yeah I'm not like oh fitness leg day gains yeah I'm not that person but I enjoy exercising now so I bought myself a running belt because obviously you kind of need to listen to music when you run. I have gone for a couple of runs where I haven't listened to music and Jim thinks I'm mad and everybody thinks I'm mad for doing that but I actually don't mind. I kind of, is it a bit weird to say that I listen to a song in my head that I just play over and over? You know when you just have a song in your head and you just kind of play it over in your head, that's, that's what I do and that works for me but now I have this so I can put my phone in this little section. Literally bought this from Amazon for about three pound or something. And it's really soft material. It's got an adjustable strap. So whatever size you are, you can adjust that to fit your waist. And it fits really snugly as well. So I feel like I don't have to keep pulling it up. I thought it was gonna really irritate me and kind of fall down or things like that. But if you like tighten it nicely, it won't move. Um, and then it's just a really sleek. It's like one of those bun, ba bun bags. Jim? Jim? What do you call those bags? Bum bags? Uh, yeah, or fanny packs. Fanny packs. So it's like one of them, but it's like a much sleeker version. It's not those big ones. It's <laughs> but, but it's not a big fanny pack. Um, it's now a sleek black and grey design, which looks really rather modern and sleek. I've said sleek already. But yeah, you can put your phone, it's big enough to fit various phone types in there and it has a little hole just there so you can plug your earphones in and thread it through there and then it just yeah it's just it's good I like it okay it's worked for me and also it has a little there's another little pocket here which I tend to put my house key in so that yeah so I can get back inside my house when I come back from a run so that good running belt for like three quid not bad not a bad spend. Next up, we have these, and it's another Caramore product. I know, I'm a bit addicted to the Make Caramore. If you watch back some of my other videos, I do own a few Caramore things, and they have been included in my favorite videos because it's such a good make. I just friggin' love it. So that there, Caramore, is how you spell Caramore. i definitely saying it right, I think. Um, so these are like, a grey kind of brownie, I call it greyish actually, greyish colour, um, walking sandals. They're amazing. If you don't own a pair of walking sandals, get some. I should have told myself that months and months ago, years ago even. Obviously everybody wants to wear shoes that look pretty and I actually think these look really nice but originally I was a little bit concerned that they wouldn't look very attractive and they wouldn't be so very stylish and they just look a bit bulky but what like walking gear has changed recently it's so much more sleek is my favorite word in this video um so much more sleek and just yeah they're not as bulky and unattractive as walking gear used to be i don't know i always used to think of it be, unless it's just my opinions changed i don't know but it used to always just be like unattractive stuff baggy things just like but yeah Cavamore seems to have clothes that actually look nice and fit nice feel good anyway they've got like a memory foam base and it just feels like your feet are in heaven when you wear them and you can just walk and nothing rubs and they're just perfect so if you don't own a pair of these you really need to get them for summer because I am going to be living these all summer I think um so yeah I bought them in a size eight they're about 
24.99 I think yeah 24.99 from Sports Direct I'll pop a link in the description box below if I can find them online but yeah get some of these okay I'm going to take this moment just to talk about a tv show that I have been absolutely addicted to this month my friend Hannah has been trying to convince me to watch this show for ages she just kept on going on about it saying how good it was flying through all the seasons and telling me I need need to watch it and I kept just going yeah yeah, yeah I'll get around to it and I think I'll put it off because there's so many seasons and because it's just you know in here yeah, when something's quite old when there's so many seasons you think oh that'll be quite old and you think you think of the first episode and the first season few seasons of being quite um like aged like it's not like it's gonna look really old-fashioned and you're not really gonna enjoy it but my god i enjoy it Grey's anatomy it's such a good show so i don't know people might have heard this people might not have heard of this i haven't really i've heard of it but didn't really know anything about it um it's basically set in a hospital and you just follow the students around who students well they are students um they are yeah they're in a, it's a teaching hospital so they're learning how to do operations and be surgeons basically um and it's just yeah you follow a group of friends have experiences love all that kind of thing but it's so like a much such an emotional show and obviously yeah just about their characters getting through the study and all their relationships and then you've got all the patients who come in and you know they get attached to patients and just all that kind of thing goes on in the show and it's just brilliant and yeah that's about 13 seasons or something at the moment I think they're continuing so I am only on season three I think so please don't do any spoilers just be aware that I'm only on season three and yeah if you're going to comment about Grey's Anatomy in the comments just talk about the first two or three seasons with me do not discuss the rest of it please if you want to live because you know you have daffodils now anyway the next thing on my list is this fake tan I have been using this fake tan for about three or four years now as a pale ginger person I like fake tan it's is something that when you're a bit more I don't have a problem with being pale I do embrace it sometimes but I do prefer to have a little bit of a glow so when it comes to fake yeah and I'm not somebody who wears a load of makeup you know I don't really like instant fake tan that you put on and, and like you know you have to put your clothes on you still smell and blah, blah, blah. anyway I don't like that but this you only have to leave on for an hour and then you wash it off and it leaves you with a glow for about four days it depends how much you shower and things I shower quite a lot I'm a clean person what can I say you know I like using shower gels and stuff and you, you know you try you think oh I won't use too much because I'm gonna wash my tan off but I can't help it so that is what I do so it does depend what kind of activities you do if you shower twice a day if you're exercising that's the thing because obviously yeah exercising now I'm gonna shower more so I probably wash it off quicker than other people might wash it off so it may last longer on yourself but you only have to leave it on for an hour so it just doesn't interrupt my life too much because others you have to leave on for like six hours that's a long time to be standing around naked with fake tan on that's a long time so one hour it's perfect so it is the Rimmel Sun Shimmer Mousse developed in one hour lasts up to seven days there you go it claims to last up to seven days but as I say it does depend lightweight velvety mousse dries within two minutes up to 24 hour moisture natural looking streak free tan no self tan smell it's brilliant so I used to use the medium but now I've gone for the dark just because it's summer and I think I just want it to be as dark as possible really but it doesn't come out dark dark like this is a few days old <laughs> a few days old tan um and believe me I may look pale still but this is me with a tan okay this is as tanned as I get the good thing about this is it doesn't look too orange please don't tell me that I look orange <laughs> I don't think it looks orange I think it looks quite like quite a golden natural tan so it just it's just the perfect tan for me that gives me that little bit of a glow without looking like I am orange and yeah it doesn't smell too much it does smell a little bit 
I mean, it claims to not smell of fake tan, but it does smell of fake tan. It does smell of biscuits, let's face it. But it's just so good because you only have to leave it on for an hour and then you can wash it off and then you no longer smell, but you glow. In conjunction with the fake tan, as a ginger, in summer, this has to be on my list of favourites this month. I have not stopped using it. Um, so yeah, we haven't had a huge amount of sunny days, but we have had a few. And the thing is, you should wear this anyway. Like you should wear, you should wear sun cream all year round anyway. I know this, but I still don't, and I burn so easily. So yeah, obviously when the, the sun's really not in, you can still get damaged by UV rays, but people don't really like realise that. I know that you can, but I still don't wear it in the winter. But when it starts getting sunny, literally every day, I will put this on now. Um, yeah, from just wearing t-shirt, I'll just like whack a little bit on my arms and on here as well, because here burns so easily. I've literally been out in the sun, like on every single sunny day that has been recently, um, and I've not been in work. And I have not been burnt because I'm using Factor 50 sun cream. This one I really like, clear protect, so it's not too sticky or you know like the thick white creams and doesn't take ages to absorb. Literally quick spray on and you don't really notice you're wearing it. I just went for factor 50 because I thought I'm ginger, I may as well just get the highest protection possible. Um, yeah, no non-greasy, no white marks, advanced UVA protection. The thing about it's only a three star, I'm sure you can get five stars, that's not actually good. There's a little thing on the back of sun creams, um, the little UVA thing. So with so with sun creams, you might think get the most expensive one and that'll be the best, but it's actually more to do with this little UVA rating. I need to double check whether that goes up to five or not because three isn't necessarily the best. Is that I should really be using five, the one with the most protection. So yeah, you can go to a pound shop and they might have one that's UVA five stars, which actually means that's the best one. Anyway, sun cream, whichever sun cream you get, get some sun cream. Even if you tan and you don't burn, your skin is still getting damaged by the sun. I hate that a lot of people just think that because they don't burn, their skin's fine. You are still getting burnt, that is damage. Tan is damage. Anyway, I'm not gonna have a big run about sun cream. <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> anyway, that is, that is everything. They are all my favourites for this month, so thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that it ended on a bit of a rant. That's everything. So it feels like a while since I've done a sit down video. Probably exactly a month actually, yeah. And I've had a little bit of time off as well. I don't know whether any of you noticed. If you do watch my videos religiously, um, I did have like basically a full on month off this month. I don't know, I've just been busy. Life just got in the way of editing, but I have still been doing the odd filming. Yeah, the odd filming of my days and activities and stuff so I do still have some videos to edit so these will be going up this month hopefully I will try my best to do a video once a week and get back into the, the routine because I've almost been doing this a year now which is crazy and I reached 100 subscribers Woo! thank you very much if you are still watching and still enjoying and I will see you next time bye <laughs>